Hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about inputs and outputs. How can I get stuff into the graph and back out to Maya? So there's a few things that are supported via drag and drop, and those are polygon objects. So I'm middle mouse dragging. Now I've dragged in that um, sphere up here, but I can also drag those in all together and I'm going to get an array right here. I can use the uh, NURBS curves that will give me strands. I can use a particle object like this. And I can also use a material which I could assign in the graph. And those are the supported drag and drop objects. For everything else is going to be a manual procedure. But before I show you how to do it manually, I want to mention that, you know, these are all inputs. Now we can see uh, looking at the icon, they're all inputs. It's just that this one doesn't have a port, but these have stuff coming in and I can create also new inputs, as many as I'd like. And this might be useful because you can make the graph more readable. Let's imagine I have a, a really big graph and lots of wires and connections, and I want the inputs here so it's a bit more readable. So what I can do, sometimes I just want to move ports from one input to uh, the other. So I can right click on a port, move to, and Go input one, this will disappear here. I'll come back here. Okay. Now let's focus in on just one guy. Maybe I'll use the sphere. Don't need these for the moment. Delete them. This stuff as well. Oh, I've deleted the graph too. I don't want that. So there we go. I've got my sphere, and now I want to see what this looks like in the node editor. So if I just check the input connection, expand this and this as well, we can see the sphere's shape, uh, the world mesh, goes into this mesh port here, which is this one. But how can I input something other than that? Let's say I want to have the warp matrix. So I can have the transform in uh, Bifrost. Well, I can create a matrix to SRT, for instance. And I just need to create a port of that data type that I want to input on this node or any input node. So if I rename this uh, sphere matrix, I shall find this on here, right there. And now I just need to connect the world matrix to that port. And that's all I got to do. Now I've got this available to me. And I can show this, visualize this, by maybe constructing points and a point scope. If I connect the translate here and I'm outputting this, I should be able to see a point here and I can move this around and that point will now follow. So this is basically how you bring data into your graph manually and you know, all you need to do is create a port of that data type and then connect it up in the node editor. Okay, so for outputting, I mean, I've already done it here, but let me just get rid of this and simply output the mesh, the sphere. If I hide the original sphere, this is my Bifrost output. And the important thing to note here is if you want to output to the scene, what you need to do is connect it to the top level output. Again, we can have more than one output node. That doesn't matter, but 
if you just sent this into a compound, for instance, let me delete this point for a moment, and if I connect it to that output inside the compound, it's not going to show up. We still have to connect it to that top level output. However, there is an exception, and that is a terminal. So I'm going to delete this, and now if I create a terminal, if I connect it to the, for instance, proxy, I can still output it to the scene. So terminals are quite handy, and there's more to terminals, but uh, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. And, uh, well, there's other nodes to read and write. For instance, um, for Alembic, most notably, but there's others like OpenVDB, and we could also use a file cache node for our simulations. Well, those would be separate videos, I think. So I think finally what I want to show is how to get this mesh, which is a Bifrost mesh, uh, how to turn this into a mesh that I can edit normally in Maya. Because right now if I right click, I don't get the menu that I would usually get with the uh, vertices and faces and whatnot. So this is also a manual thing at the moment. Actually, I'm going to rename this port to make it easier to find out sphere. This appears here now, again, on the Bifrost graph shape. Here's my out sphere. What I need is a Bifrost Geo to Maya node. Connect this into the Bifrost Geo node. And as a final step, what I want is to connect this guy up to a shape node. So I could create, oops, I could create any sort of uh, object and use its shape node, but I can also just use a mesh here. And then if I expand this, connect this into the in mesh. Here we should be able to see now got a new um, object and uh, I can move it over here assign it to Lambert and now I've got all the standard uh, options alright so uh, that's my intro to inputs and outputs